Another company that balances ecology and economics is Solar Mowing. This company provides lawn care without gasoline-powered equipment. It's a hot concept, harnessing the sun's power to mow your lawn. Linda Witt says she was solving her own problem when she started her company, Solar Mowing, in 2009. Even a mower, a gasoline mower that's several houses away, I can smell it, I, everyone can smell it, and it's awful. Um, so that's precisely why I started this business. DeWitt decided to buy a battery-powered mower for her own use, and the rest was history. She decided electric mowers and landscape tools would be something other environmentally conscious Montgomery County residents would embrace. So she took her show on the road. Well, park in the sun wherever you go today. Just had a um, electric rechargeable mower in the back of my Subaru, along with a trimmer and blower, which are all electric rechargeable. And uh, I and a few helpers would go out with that one vehicle, with that one mower, and go to our probably half a dozen customers that we had in 2009. However, as with any startup, DeWitt faced challenges along the way. The biggest being how to keep the mower batteries charged on long summer days. She wanted to be able to charge her equipment while she was out on the road, so she found someone to install a solar panel and recharging system in her company truck. And that energy is converted into AC, and now we can plug our chargers into that AC and charge as we go. These charge up pretty quickly. It usually takes about an hour if the batteries are fully depleted. But um, by the time we reach our next lawn, the batteries are completely fully charged. Um, so the solar panel saves us money. The quiet mowers are the number one attraction of going solar. Susan Weiss has been a customer for three years. She works from home and became increasingly sensitive to the noise and pollution from her weekly lawn care. When we had uh, regular mowers, gasoline powered mowers, I would sit here and I could actually smell uh, the fumes from the mower and I could, um, of course, hear them. They were so loud. And then when I realized how quiet it was going to be, it was actually a pleasant surprise. I don't even know that they're here. And it's not just noise pollution that's being addressed with solar mowing. We follow organic lawn care principles. We mow high, we mow about three to three and a half inches. So that grass shades the soil and keeps weed seeds from germinating. The other mowers, they didn't care about the height or the clippings in it. It was just a mess. And my clippings go right back onto the lawn. And essentially serve as a natural fertilizer for the soil. And after he mows, he will trim all the edges that uses a rechargeable electric battery. Today, solar mowing consists of six mowers, eight trimmers, and two trucks outfitted with solar panels. During the busy season, DeWitt employs about a dozen people, and solar mowing is competitive with companies with gas-powered equipment. A typical mow will run you about $35. But in the end, people like Susan Weiss say, using solar mowing is not just a service, but an investment. I believe that people can have some effect on climate change, and I don't want to feel like my using gasoline is contributing to our problems in the Middle East. DeWitt says she doesn't advertise. Most of her customers come to solar mowing by word of mouth. Today, the company is doing well, but she says growth is something she is counting on. This, is, this business, uh, I think, has great potential economically. It's doing the right thing. So to me, that's very exciting. For more information on solar mowing, you can visit their website at solarmowing.com. Well, that wraps up this edition of Made in Montgomery. For County Cable Montgomery, I'm Susan Kennedy. Thank you for watching.